We recommend St. Anthony Industries levy tamper and wedge distribution tool frequently. And one of the most common questions we get from our customers when they receive them is how do I know what depth to set it to? It's a good question, especially considering how relatively new these tools are to the world of espresso. Luckily, they're dead simple to set up. Before we dive in, when you purchase a St. Anthony Industries tool along with an espresso machine, we'll dial it in for you free of charge, but we're just as happy to walk you through doing it yourself. Let's start with the levy tamper. The quickest and easiest way to set up your levy is to grind your standard dose of coffee into your portafilter and then use a regular tamper to compact it. Most espresso machines come with a plastic tamper in the box, and this might be the one time that comes in handy. Lean in and use a comfortable amount of force while making sure that you keep the bed completely level. Grab your levy and give the middle collar a small counterclockwise turn. Now you'll be able to adjust the depth of the tamper itself. Turn it counterclockwise until it's just about as long as it can be. You'll know you've just passed its maximum depth if it begins to unthread from the tamper's cap. From there, give the base a couple turns back and then give the collar a clockwise turn to lock everything together. Take the levy and set it lightly in the portafilter with the tamped puck of coffee. You'll notice that the collar is hovering a few millimeters above the edge of the basket. We want to adjust the levy so that the collar just barely rests on the rim of the basket. That way, next time we use it, we'll get an identical level tamp. Loosen the collar and give the tamper base a few turns clockwise, then retighten it. Place the tamper back in the basket and see if the collar is touching the rim. Repeat this in small increments so as to avoid overshooting the proper depth. After a couple of adjustments, you can see that I now have the collar resting right against the rim of the basket, so we're set. Every time you tamp from here on out, it'll be perfectly level and at the same depth. Now let's tackle the wedge distribution tool. Setting up the wedge requires a bit more experimentation, but luckily there isn't just one right answer. Grind a fresh dose of coffee into your portafilter and set the wedge on top of the basket. Now give it a few spins and then lift it up to view the bed of grounds. We're looking for one thing, that the entire bed is flat and smooth. If there are gaps around the edges of the basket, you want to adjust it to go a bit deeper so you get that smooth surface. From here, we recommend experimenting with different depths of extraction to see how they affect your shot. There are a few factions here at the office. Some prefer the lightest possible sweep, some like a heavier distribution, and some even prefer a heavy distribution with no tamp at all. Full disclosure, I fall into the last camp, but I think my reasoning is equal parts efficacy and rebellion. If this video helped you set up your St. Anthony Industries tools or just quenched your curiosity, be sure to hit the like button. If you have any other questions about tamping or distribution tools, I'd be glad to field them in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tamp subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.